Good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you guys. It is Blix here, and today we just got an absolutely like out of nowhere drop of news. But I'm not complaining because what we got today is pretty crazy. We have news on the Takara Tomi side, the Hasbro side, even the video game side. Like, there is enough to go around for all types of Beyblade fans. So let's get into it. Starting off with the June Booster. This is BX33. It's either Weiss Tiger or Vice Tiger. It's spelled like this, and I wasn't really sure how to pronounce that word, so I looked it up. And it translated itself to German and pronounced itself like Weiss. Weiss. So it apparently means white in German. And the tiger avatar on that gear bit of the Beyblade is white. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's Weiss Tiger. Weiss Tiger 360 U, which actually stands for Unite, bro, is not Storm Spriggan. Getting a close look at the design itself. Oh my goodness, this thing is going to be an attacking beast this thing looks like this thing looks crazy it literally looks like like a valkyrie-esque beyblade the design of it is crazy i really love the gear bit though that that tiger with the lightning bolts looks so sick here's a better look at the side profile of the beyblade but luckily we do already have um fairly good quality images of the actual parts separately so we get a good look at the uh 360 which that's not a new ratchet it's just it is in pretty cool colors though it's like silver and gray I, I i like that a lot and then the unite bit this bit looks like if ball and point had a baby um it looks like it has a lot of potential i feel like it could be really good for competitive attack combos we'll have to wait and see um but yeah that's about it for vice tiger now we're going to move on to the Hasbro news that we got today, which is pretty crazy. It is the Transformers collab. So at least we do finally get our questions answered about are the collab Beyblades going to give us all new shapes? It looks like no, we're not going to be getting new shapes. We're just going to be getting like new designs, if that makes sense. So we can see um, Starscream as Arrow Wizard. Megatron as Scythe Incendio, Optimus Prime as Helm Knight, and Optimus Primal as Keel Shark, as well as a custom like a uh, launcher that comes with the boxes. So, so that's pretty cool. These are the boxes themselves for the actual like uh, dual packs, and I gotta say, Hasbro has been killing it with the Beyblade X boxes. These are so cool to look at. It kind of just makes you wonder how much cooler the boxes would look if they would put like these standard Beyblade X boxes, but like replace Optimus Prime and Megatron with like, imagine it was, I don't know, um, like Sting Unicorn and Tail Viper. Imagine you had the owners of those Beyblades like facing each other on the box. Like they would look so cool. Hasbro, please put the owners of the Beyblades on the box because this looks so sick we can see the parts though we have optimus prime 460 point and megatron 480 ball and then next of course is the dual pack with optimus primal as kill shark and starscream as arrow wizard um pretty much the same thing um this does get me excited for the marvel collab because like getting to see spider-man venom Iron Man and Thanos on like a Beyblade box is gonna be so cool. I hope that they use like cool renders of the characters to put on the box. Um, so yeah, and then moving on from that, there's even more because we got news about the Beyblade X video game. It comes out this winter on the Nintendo Switch. Presumably, I would assume it will be on the Nintendo Switch 2 because that should be out by the time this game comes out. But yeah, I think it's called Beyblade X1, Beyblade X X1, I don't know, but it's basically the same thing as Beyblade Burst Zero. That was the Beyblade game that released during the Burst generation, during the Chozy season. Um, so yeah, you're going to be able to play Beyblades on your Nintendo Switch again, but with updated bays. Um, and I hope that they put more effort into the game than Burst Zero, because... I would just like the Beyblade X game to be like, you know, 
something that I get on my Switch to play because I'm looking forward to playing it, not just, like, because I have to make content, you know? Um, but yeah, I will definitely try to um, make some videos on this when this game comes out because I do have a Nintendo Switch, so look forward to that. But on top of that, it looks like you get a Beyblade from purchasing this game. I'm assuming it's going to be like Burst Zero where you can choose to buy the starter pack that comes with the Bay or just the game separately. I'm not sure what to think of the actual bay that they're giving you though, because it looks like Knife Shinobi, but with a blue coat of paint. I'm not quite sure what that's going to be, but I am going to be interested to see what the gear bit of it is. But uh, yeah, that's about all the news that we got today. A shitload of news. Let me know what you guys are the most excited about out of all three things that we got shown today. Be sure to comment your thoughts down below. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and peace.